Welcome to Baker County. This county is located in Northeast Florida and shares a border with the state of Georgia. The population is just over 27,000 people and it was founded in 1861. This county was named for Senator James McNair Baker, who was also the former judge of the 4th Judicial District of the state of Florida. One of the most famous people born in Baker County is Blair Hanks. This McClenney native is a country music singer and songwriter. He left Florida at 19 to pursue his music career in Nashville. His debut album charted at number 22 on the iTunes country chart. He now works as a producer and a songwriter. Baker County's historical claim to fame is Heritage Park Village. In 1985, citizens of Baker County and the city of McClenney spearheaded a campaign to save the old McClenney Depot, which was originally built in 1924. Today, the relocated park is home to a number of historical buildings representing the history of Baker County. There are now over 22 different museums and structures for guests to explore. In the beautifully restored Burns Head Block House, the last of its kind remaining in the state of Florida, you can get an up-close look at the architecture of early pioneer life. You can also see Civil War chess sets, a grocery store, photo albums, and more. If you're looking for something fun to do in Baker County, check out the Baker County Fair, which is hosted annually in October. The self-proclaimed biggest little fair in Florida is a celebration of local art, agriculture, and more. There are several competitions and days filled with local food, rides, games, and fun for all ages. Thanks for visiting and see you soon. Welcome to Union County. This county is located in the northern central part of our state. The population is just over 15,000 people and it was founded in 1921. The name Union was chosen for this county after it was created from the remnants of its surrounding counties. This is also the smallest county by area in our state and only covers 250 square miles. One of the most famous people born in Union County is C.J. Spiller. This Lake Butler native was a Clemson football player who went on to play nine seasons in the NFL for the Bills, Saints, Seahawks, Jets, and Chiefs. Following his playing career, Spiller joined the Clemson coaching staff and was promoted to running backs coach in 2021. Union County's historical claim to fame is the Townsend House. The Townsend House, also known as the Old Drug Store, is located on Main Street in downtown Lake Butler and is home to the Lake Union Historical Society. The second floor also houses the Marjorie McGill Duggars Historical Museum, where patrons can learn about the 114-year-old building and its history. Today, the Historical Society features rotating exhibits, guest speakers, and public events for the community. If you're looking for something fun to do in Union County, check out the annual 4th of July celebration hosted annually at Lake Butler. This free festival is one of the county's largest events of the year and is best known for its scenic Lakeview fireworks. Visitors also enjoy seeing the vast fishing tournament, 5K run, antique car show, food and craft vendors, and live music. Thanks for visiting and see you soon. Welcome to Bradford County. This county is located in North Florida and is famous for its natural wonders and farming. The population is just over 28,000 people and it was founded in 1861. This county was named for the first Confederate officer from Florida to die in the Civil War, Captain Richard Bradford. One of the most famous people born in Bradford County is Judy Canova. This Stark native was a comedian, actress, singer, and radio personality. She also appeared on Broadway and in films. She hosted her own self-titled network radio program, which was a popular broadcast from 1943 until 1955. Bradford County's historical claim to fame is the Andrews Center. This large historic building along Call Street was once the old Bradford County Courthouse. When it was due to be demolished in the 1980s, this Romanesque revival building was renovated and became the Andrews Center, a campus of Santa Fe College. The center has since added the Eugene L. Matthews Historical Museum, which charts the 170-year history of Bradford County. 
This attraction and performance venue also provides enhanced educational and cultural opportunities for all citizens of Bradford County. If you're looking for something fun to do in Bradford County, check out the Bradford County Strawberry Festival, which is hosted annually in March. This festival has been hosted for over 35 years and celebrates the county's locally grown strawberries. They have a variety of vendors, food options, activities for kids, pony rides, and more. Thanks for visiting and see you soon. Welcome to Alachua County. This county is located in the northwest part of our state and is home to many outdoor adventures. The population is just over a quarter million people and it was founded in 1824. The county was named after the indigenous Tumukua word Chua for sinkhole, which are common in northwest Florida. This county is also home to the University of Florida, where the famous sports drink Gatorade was invented in the 1960s as a means to refreshing their football team. The most famous person born in Alachua County is Maya Rudolph. This Gainesville native is an Emmy Award winning actress, comedian, and producer. Her debut on Saturday Night Live in 2000 launched her career and since then has starred in dozens of movies and TV shows. Alachua County's historical claim to fame is Payne's Prairie. Payne's Prairie was the first state preserve in Florida and was established in 1971. And for nearly 12,000 years, indigenous peoples have used this prairie's fertile land for hunting and gathering. Artist and naturalist William Bartram called this area Great Alachua Savannah when he wrote about it his visit in 1774. By the 1830s, this area was named Payne's Prairie in honor of Seminole leader King Payne. Today, this area is home to more than 20 biological communities, including herds of wild bison and horses, as well as 300 different species of birds. If you're looking for something to do in Alachua County, check out the Hopetown Medieval Fair, which is hosted every January. For three consecutive weekends, a medieval village comes alive in the city of Alachua, and the festival features artisans, medieval clothing, and nine stages of entertainment for all ages. Thanks for visiting and see you soon. Welcome to Nassau County. This North Florida County is home to many historic downtown areas and beach communities. The population is just under 100,000 people and was established in 1824. This county got its name from the Duchy of Nassau, a small German province from the 19th century. Both the Duchy of Nassau and Nassau County are strategically located along geographically central major rivers. The most famous person from Nassau County is Howie Kendrick. This former West Nassau High School student now plays for the Washington Nationals here in DC. In 2019, he hit the game-winning home run of the World Series and got the Nats their first winning title in history. This county's historical claim to fame is Amelia Island in Fernandina Beach. This area is nicknamed the Isle of Eight Flags because of the area's long history with occupation from countries around the world. In fact, Fernandina Beach is the second oldest city in the U.S. It was also originally used as a reserve for an area in St. Augustine. To this day, it is the only location in the U.S. occupied by eight different flags. If you're bored and looking for something to do in this county, check out the Isle of Eight Flags shrimp festival it has live music bands a parade and much much more thanks for visiting and see you soon welcome to duval county this county is home to some of our state's most iconic cultural and historical landmarks the population is just under 1 million people and it was founded in 1822 the county was named for William Pope Duval, the governor of Florida Territory from 1822 to 1834. This county is also home to the Jacksonville Farmer's Market, the oldest farmer's market in the state, which attracts over 20,000 visitors every week. The most famous person or group from Duval County is Leonard Skinner. This American rock band was formed in 1964 and was originally comprised of Ronnie Van Zant, Gary Rossington, Alan Collins, Larry Johnstrom, and Bob Burns, and they are known for their hit songs like Free Bird and Sweet Home Alabama. Duval County's historical claim to fame is Jacksonville, America's largest city. In 1968, the city of Jacksonville and the county of Duval merged into a single governmental unit in order to improve the services that they delivered. This made Jacksonville roughly 900 square miles, the largest city in land area in the contiguous United States. 
Today, Jacksonville boasts the largest urban park system in the country that is four times the size of the island of Manhattan. There are nearly 80,000 acres of parks, including 400 city parks, seven state parks, two national park sites, and an arboreum. There is also 1,100 miles of shoreline, which is more than any other city in the state or in the nation. If you're looking for something fun to do in Duval County, check out the Gate River Run, which is hosted annually in March. This is the nation's largest 15K run, and they also host a 5K run to raise money for local charities. There are also courses for both competitive and recreational runners. Thanks for visiting, and see you soon. Welcome to Clay County. This county is located in North Florida along the St. Johns River. The population is just over 220,000 people and it was founded in 1858. This county was named in honor of Henry Clay, a famous American statesman, member of the U.S. Senate, and the U.S. Secretary of State. One of the most famous people born in Clay County is Augusta Savage. This Green Cove Springs native was a world-renowned sculptor associated with the Harlem Renaissance. Savage intentionally created works that elevated images of African American culture to mainstream media. She also advocated for equal rights for African Americans in the arts. Clay County's historical claim to fame is the town of Penny Farms. In 1926, department store pioneer J.C. Penny founded the community of Penny Farms. While most of his stores at the time were in western states, he came to Florida to plan and develop an experimental farming village. In 1927, Penny Farms officially opened with over 300 buildings, including a general store, a post office, and a garage. Agricultural products included cattle, pecans, persimmons, oranges, grapes, and a variety of other vegetables. The real estate decline and stock market crash in the following years caused Penny to scale back his ambitions to a community for retired ministers in honor of his father. Today, many of the residents in the town are still comprised mainly of missionaries and clergy members. If you're looking for something fun to do in Clay County, check out the Clay County Fair, which is hosted every September. This is the self-proclaimed World's Greatest County Fair, where they host blue ribbon competitions, world-class entertainment, and innovative exhibits and rides for the whole family. Thanks for visiting, and see you soon. Welcome to Putnam County. This Northeast Florida county is located along the St. Johns River and is home to many outdoor activities. This county has a population of just over 74,000 people and was founded in 1849. This county got its name from Benjamin A. Putnam, a soldier in the First Seminole War, a lawyer, and a Florida legislator. He was also the first president of the Florida Historical Society. Another fun fact about this county is that it is segmented by the St. Johns River, which is one of the few in the world that flows north. The most famous person from Putnam County is Camila Johnson. Johnson was a famous opera singer who was born in Platka. She was a soprano who sang in the Metropolitan Opera and the Florida Philharmonic Orchestra. Putnam County's historical claim to fame is Palatka, or the gem city of the St. Johns River. The town rose in popularity in the late 1800s as an enormous resource for both timber and citrus. It had a reputation for its natural beauty, which attracted many visitors who came along the St. Johns River. Today, Palatka still has its large downtown business district right along the waterfront with many historic and cultural sites. If you're looking for something to do in Putnam County, check out the Florida Azalea Festival, which is hosted annually in the first weekend of March. This festival originally started as a beauty competition, but later evolved into a festival to appreciate the beautiful azalea plants which cover this county. Thanks for visiting and see you soon. Welcome to St. John's County. This county is located along Florida's Treasure Coast and is one of the most historic counties in our state. The population is just under 300,000 people and it was founded in 1821. This county got its name from the St. Johns River, which is a north flowing river that completely bisects the county, beginning in Jacksonville and ending in Sanford. The most famous person from St. Johns County is Rhonda LaShan Sapp. Known professionally as LaShans, this St. Augustine native is an actress, singer, and director. She won the Tony Award for her role as Best Actress in The Color Purple in 2006, and in 2023, she also received two Tony Awards for producing Kimberly Akimbo and Top Dog Underdog. 
St. John's County's historical claim to fame is the city of St. Augustine. In September of 1565, a Spanish soldier named Pedro Menendez de Alvarez founded this colony. He chose to name the city after St. Augustine because he originally spotted this site on August 28th, which was the Saint's feast day. This makes St. Augustine the oldest European settlement in America. Today, you can visit the Castillo de San Marcos, the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. While in St. Augustine, you can also visit the Fountain of Youth. In 1513, Juan Ponce de Leon declared that he had found this spring in the village of Saloy. And today, you can visit this site and see the natural springs. If you're looking for something to do in St. John's County, check out the Sing Out Loud Music Festival, which is hosted every September. This is Florida's largest free music festival and not only features headliners, but also showcases the work of talented local musicians. Thanks for visiting and see you soon.